And turning to your weather as we take a live look from the Launch Credit Union Port Cam at Port Canaveral. Obviously got some showers off there in the distance and a little breeze continuing. Yeah, that's right. Mich uh, Michelle Morgan is in house in for Candace this afternoon and obviously the weekend's going to be looking OK, but not so far out in the coast area. No, we are tracking a few isolated showers moving inland, but many of us, we are dry. I do want to touch on the tropics here. National Hurricane Center has uh, increased the chances for tropical development in the southwestern Caribbean in the next few days or so. Atmospheric conditions will be conducive for that to happen, and potentially a tropical depression could form in this region that's highlighted in red. Watching two other areas here, one area close to Puerto Rico has a low chance for tropical development in the next two to seven days and most likely we would get absorbed by this area here, highlighted in red. And then we're looking at another area that has the potential of tropical development in the next two to seven days. I don't think it will do much, maybe a subtropical system, but it is moving over cooler waters, really not our concern. We're focusing on this area here. Gradual development is likely. And as I mentioned before, tropical dep depression could form as early as this weekend in this general area or early next week. If it gets a name, the next name on the list is Patty, and a lot of models are showing that this system gradually moving into the Gulf of Mexico by midweek next week. I do want to talk about the steering currents here. Air of high pressure has set up shop over uh, north and east of the peninsula. That is what's been keeping our weather rather quiet for the past week or so. So the models are showing that this could potentially weaken some if that happens. If this area, that tropical wave, then it will potentially turn riding along this area of high pressure. If this high pressure stays strong enough, it will turn to the west there, potentially impacting Central America or Texas. Again, a lot of time to watch it, but at the moment, a lot of models are still very uncertain as to the intensity and the path of that system. Here at home, we are fairly quiet, but you just saw Cape Canaveral, uh, that live shot out there. A few showers are moving inland. East Coast sea breeze is beginning to pick up, but the water vapor imagery is certainly showing a ton of dry air in the atmosphere. That is indicated by orange, and that is going to keep our rain chances fairly low. As we go through today, as well as the weekend, if you have any plants, you can see all that orange here over our counties. So I do want to show you the radar scan here. You can see those showers moving inland. Satellite Beach, Melbourne seeing some showers, in Cape Canaveral seeing some spotty showers at the moment. Won't last long, but again, if you're heading out to lunch, just grab that umbrella with you. Current temperatures, it is mild out there, 82 in Orlando, Sanford, Deland, 82 in Daytona Beach as we head out to the villages at 82. And we're looking a little bit cooler in Melbourne at 73 because we are dealing with some showers in your area. Now the winds have, have picked up as expected, clocking in Wind gust of 16 miles per hour in Cocoa Beach, 14 miles per hour in Orlando and Claremont, and 12 miles per hour in Daytona Beach. So here's a look at your hour by hour forecast for today. Sponsored by Strata Air Conditioning and Heating. AC emergency? You ought to call Strata. Orlando will see a mix of sunshine and clouds. Pleasant, mainly dry. Temperatures climbing into the middle 80s this afternoon. And then tonight, overnight temperatures in the lower 70s. Clouds and rain forecast looking pretty good here. We'll continue to see a few isolated showers popping up across central Florida. And then heading into tonight, looking mainly dry under clear skies. So here's a look at your 7A getting you results. 86 today, 70 tonight. Tomorrow we're at 84 with a 20% chance for a few isolated showers. Now some fog is possible tomorrow morning. Don't forget to set your clocks back an hour. At least we'll get an hour uh, sleep or more sleep. I'm looking forward to it. And then we're looking pretty good as we head into next week. Michelle, thanks.